Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Tyler W and today we're bringing it back to the fundamentals and I'm teaching you all the TK pattern. Ooh, we filming! It's been a hot minute! And that, my friends, is what we are going to learn today. Like I said in the intro, today we are bringing it back with one of the most foundational patterns in all of beatboxing that functions as such a high quality filler. And honestly, I can't even believe I haven't covered this in a tutorial yet, and for that, I'm sorry. I mean, this is one of the first patterns that I ever learned as a beatboxer. And it's one of the first that I learned along with the majority of beatboxers because it builds on core fundamental beatboxing sounds. And that is the hi-hat and the case snare. And because these sounds are both part of the boots and cats, the core fundamental sounds to beatboxing, it makes it one of the first patterns that all beatboxers learn. And because it's such a foundational pattern, it's kind of hard to single out beatboxers who are really known for it. However, the one name that will always come to mind is my boy ZD. And if you guys have not heard of ZD or his TKs, you guys gotta check them out because mm, they spicy. Now I guess one thing that you guys probably already know is that this pattern is going to basically sound the same on mic or acoustic, and that's because the sounds it utilizes don't really require microphone amplification. <laughs> Can you hear that? They're sabotaging my video shoot. That's obnoxious. Before we continue, I want all of you to comment down below which beatboxer you feel does the TK pattern the best. I'm honestly curious because like I said, it's really hard to single out which beatboxers do it the best because all beatboxers use this pattern. Which is why it's up to you all to find out which beatboxer does that the best. Ah, excuse me, one more thing. Because this is a pattern, you guys need to make sure that when you're practicing, you start off slow and crank that metronome up slowly to bring that speed up to make it faster. But that's kind of what you have to do with all patterns. You start slow, you figure out exactly how to do it, and then you just increase your speed from there. And just like all Tyler W beatboxing tutorials, I broke this bad boy down with three simple, easy, beautiful steps so that you guys can learn it. And the first step to learn the TK combo is going to be to learn the hi-hat or the now I know that I literally just did the sound, but just to make sure that you guys know what it sounds like, the hi-hat sounds a little bit like... Now the hi-hat was actually one of the first tutorials that I ever made on this channel, so I'm not going to spend any time in this tutorial dedicated to teaching it, so if you guys do not know the hi-hat yet, go check out my tutorial for it, links down below. Once you learn it, come back here and we'll continue forward. And now that you guys know the hi-hat, it is time to move on to the next step. And that second step is to do the outward case snare. And that outward case snare sounds a little bit like... And just like the hi-hat, I already have an entire video dedicated to teaching you guys the outward case snare. So if you have not seen it yet, go ahead and check it out. Links down below. And once you learn it, come on back here and we'll continue forward. And now that you beautiful people both know how to do the hi-hat and the outward case snare, it is time to move on to that third and final step. And that step is, as I'm sure you guys have already guessed, is to combo the hi-hat and the outward case snare together. So first, take your hi-hat and then follow it up immediately with the outward case snare, which will sound a little bit like... And when you speed that combo up a little bit, it's going to sound like... So before we get overwhelmed with that, let's remember something I said in the very beginning of the video. And that said this is a pattern, so what you're going to want to do is metronome train. So pick a tempo on your metronome and hit the quarter notes with the t And after you feel that you got that, what you can do is increase it to filling it on the eighth notes and then fill in the sixteenth notes. Then you can even increase your tempo and just kind of continue on your practice and pushing yourself. So to explain what I mean, we're going to start off at 140 BPM. One, two, three, four. And what I just did right there was I did the T and the K on the quarter notes of the beats. So and then what we can do after that is increase it to hitting on the eighth notes, keeping it at 140 BPM. One, two, three, four. And once you can do that, then you can fill it even more and hit the 16th notes, still at 140 BPM. One, two, three, four. And after you guys can do that, then what you can do is increase the tempo on the metronome and just continue to do the same thing. But yeah, that's basically all there is to learn in the TK combo. So let's go ahead and move on to some practice beats to help you perfect this pattern. <laughs> 
Now, for these practice beats, you guys are gonna need a metronome, whether that be an app on your phone or a physical one. Go ahead, if you don't have one, grab one, and then come back here, because we're about to get into it. We interjecting with this message. Interjecting with style to let you guys know that if you're enjoying this video, to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel because I produce a lot of tutorials to help you guys learn how to beatbox. That's all I got for you. Interjection done. So for this first practice beat, we're gonna start off slow at 120 BPM. One, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and keep it at 120 BPM, but just give it a little more fill. One, two, three, four. All right, so now we're gonna crank up that tempo a little bit and go to 140 BPM. One, two, three, four. All right, so that one was a little bit weird, so don't really worry if you don't get that one, but let's go ahead and try a different one at the same tempo. One, two, three, four. All right, those were a little bit more difficult than I anticipated, so if you don't get those right now, don't worry. I'm kind of adding these to give you a little bit of variety and flavor to your TK patterns. Again, when you're starting out, just make sure you're doing basic metronome practice and just trying to increase that speed. Speaking of speed increases, let's go ahead and go to 180 beats per minute for a classic drum and bass pattern. One, two, three, four. All the practice beats I got for you guys today. I hope at this point you have perfected the TK pattern. If you haven't, do not worry. Walk back through the beats and just keep on practicing. And if you've had any difficulty learning the pattern itself, walk back through the steps I had in actually learning it and practicing the T and the K and then putting them together. And I promise you guys, over time, it will get better. Like I still remember the first day I was able to hit the combo because I know that I wasn't able to do it for the longest time. The one day I was just chilling there, I was like, I did it non-stop for like a week. And you're still filming a video, and it's like 11 at, at night. I'm gonna wrap up this video. If you guys have enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button and maybe consider subscribing so I upload a lot of beatboxing related content that you guys might be interested in. And don't forget to comment down below which beatboxer you feel does the best TKs. And how can I forget? Hit that notification bell because YouTube doesn't always like to notify you guys when I upload stuff. All in all, I hope you guys are safe during this crazy time and because everything is so crazy right now, I really do appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to spend it here with me and to learn this pattern. And if you are stuck in quarantine and you have a lot of free time on your hands, go ahead and use this time to push your beatboxing to the next level. I know that's what I'm doing and I'm doing the same thing with content. And with all that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And now more than ever, stay hydrated my friends.